Global financial collapse is underway. I've covered this over and over again. You've heard other economists warn about this. Today I'll go over the reasons why you can't hide. This is a global financial catastrophe. Let's take a look at this. A lot of people are investing in China saying that Asia is where you need to park your money. Well, I would say that perhaps the future decades will be the decades of China. The next century may be China's. However, it is not without its problems. And look at this. China's terrifying debt ratios poised to breeze past the U.S. levels. We all know that the U.S. has serious problems with his debt. You look at the debt to GDP ratios in the US, it's astronomical, particularly when you include unfunded liabilities like Medicare and Medicaid. But when you take a look at a country like China, which has more recently been spending and spending and spending, look at this debt to GDP ratio I'll show you on the graph right here. It is up significantly just since 2013. That is a 20 percentage point increase. That's dramatic. There's no way the growth has kept up with that. And you have that basically showing you that this is all fictional. When you print money, when you do public works projects, you can get things to be boosted up, but ultimately you're going into debt. Why? Of course, I've gone over it before. The system is accumulating debt. That's how it's designed. It's all about the increase and increase and increase of debt. And these central banks are doing so so well and it is working for them to bring themselves further into debt now you can go into commodities and this is one of the ways that you can sort of hedge against this inflation price of beef and bacon reach an all-time high the individuals who need to eat that would be everybody they are suffering from food inflation. Of course, this isn't in the court inflation numbers that the Federal Reserve presents to everyone because they're going up in price. You look at gas prices, you look at electricity prices, you look at, in this example, beef and bacon prices, they're near or at all-time highs. This is real. People need to eat, and yet this isn't part of the court inflation numbers so that they can present you with a number that is less than 2% on television and it is just going to brainwash the masses through the mainstream media mechanism and it is doing very well because people think that there's no inflation however you just need to go to the supermarket to decide that for yourself well here it is you can't hide in different countries because this inflation will follow you it's all over the world why because all central banks every single one is printing money right now this is a race to the bottom and take a look at it right now inflation on the high billionaire warns that the Yellen collapse will be unlike any other now I would have to say that it's not Yellen's fault necessarily it is all central bankers they are all responsible for the destruction that is occurring Yellen would have never been brought into this position had she not been so enthusiastic about printing money so it's not necessarily her they would just replace her with somebody else it's like it's not really Obama's fault that all these laws are created his masters are controlling him telling him to do this so in fact it is the system itself that is corrupt and I'll just scroll down very briefly what this individual says is that we've never had this before it's going to be very painful for investors but I would have to say also that it's not just investors necessarily it is individuals who have their pensions, who have their retirement accounts, and they don't realize that these accounts will be undoubtedly slaughtered. They will be evaporated and they will be bailed in. I cover this all the time in all my consultations, warning people, if you have retirement accounts, are you prepared to lose them? And emphatically, the answer is no, because they're willing and they they're need that money and they're not ready. Look at this. The market is looking for that black swan and it's at a record high right now. The black swan event, people don't know a lot of this where it comes from. This is Nassim Taleb's book and it's talking about the black swan theory. Most of the people haven't read it. They just read the title. However, 
what he talks about is basically an event that nobody is prepared for that will change everything. And that is something that I made the central theme of my book. And I believe that the derivatives, which are hanging over all markets around the world, that's the commodities, the equities, and so on, all of these are connected to the derivatives market. If the derivatives market collapses, everything will be taken out. This is the diagram from my book. You've seen it before. But you have real assets. I don't know if you can even see that, but the little tiny triangle at the bottom is real assets. That's our real wealth. And then on top of that, they've done their fractional reserve banking. And on top of that, you have the derivatives, which are approximately, depending on which calculation you use, which statistic you're using here, you're looking at about 25 times the real global GDP of the world. And you have mass amounts of debt being accumulated right now. I've gone over it so many times. I hope people are listening. Your retirement account is connected to this. Your All of your assets, all of your investments that are all connected into this. If you're relying on those to continue to be there in the future generation, you have a big problem because they're going to be evaporated. They've warned about this with the bail-in regime in the Canadian uh, budget report that they did for 2013. They've warned about it there. They took people's money in Cyprus. They've done all kinds of things, the dormant accounts in Australia. There's so many accounts of this and people are still coming to me asking me, what should I do about my retirement account? Get it out of there. Get your money out. It's very important. Now, where do you put it? People are asking me constantly. Okay, fine. Where do I put my money? Well, the answer is put it into something real. If you like real estate, buy real estate. If you like land, take a look at the parking spaces in nice areas. Why not? Put your money in that. It could be profitable. Buy some land, buy some food, buy a good water filter, get canned food, storable food, grow your own garden. You want to hedge against the inflation of food prices? Why not grow your own? Perhaps even just a small garden will offset it just a little bit. You can get storable food for very cheap from places that are local to you and you can get those things and it will hedge against the inflation should we enter a hyperinflation a hyperinflationary scenario that many have been warning about Yellen is going this direction and all other central banks will follow i hope that you like this message i hope that you will share this with your friends and family and you'll give it a thumbs up and that you will become an insider it is totally free it is where i give out the best intel and that is at the moneygps.com at the bottom you fill in your email address there and you will get short concise emails from me with excellent information that is basically an extension of the work I've done in my book. Take care.